Hey everybody. We gotta make a trip to town, pay the power bill. We gotta pick up a pallet of concrete. I've got two water tanks to repair. And I've got to do the foundation for my sawmill because Aaron's going to be bringing it home probably next weekend. So I've got a lot of work to do before he gets here. And we thought that we would give you just, he's going to hold the camera, we're going to give you just a quick little tour of our community.
this hill we're on is called Big Gate Hill, apparently. In the 1800s, there was a big gate on top of that hill. But this farm up here is still part of the Asbury Rogers farm. The lower end of this valley was Asbury Rogers. The upper end was Christopher Columbus Rogers. And uh, this valley consists, Upper Crabtree Valley consists of three. It consists of Bald Creek, Liner Creek, and Rogers Cove. And we are in Rogers Cove. up there in the woods is Uncle Bob Rogers house and uh, everybody in the valley called him Uncle Bob he was not my uncle he was just a distant cousin so this is lower end of Rogers Cove okay out this side you see that tiny little church over there we'll be closer to it in a moment that's the little Methodist church that Hugh's family went to, and it's actually the church that Hugh and I got married in, um, Hugh's mother and daddy got married in, and Aaron and Caroline got married in. So when we get up closer, um, I'll give you a, a better view of it. This is the veterans marker. 
this John McCracken here, Joseph McCracken, is my great 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 grandfather. And then Columbus Rogers is my great great grandpa. And uh, Asbury Rogers is the one that owns that lower end of the valley there. That was his. That was his farm. And most of the people on this, if they're from the valley originally, they're descended from have common ancestry to Joseph McCracken. Where's and your... My grandpa's buried right here, and so's my dad. Look at the view up here, guys. I wish the clouds weren't down on the mountains. You just would not believe how spectacular this view is. This is daddy's oldest brother. This is Uncle Howard's grave and Aunt Francis. And then this is my grandpa's grave. He was born in 1896 and died in 1955 before I was born. This is Hugh C. Bass Sr. And then uh, this is my dad's marker and my mother's marker. And, and John's been here. Yeah. Jared has a, a buddy that comes up here and leaves, leaves some of Jared's favorite drinks just we pick them up when we come. Sometimes we leave them, but some and of they left a thing of Fireball whiskey. Boy, that's some tough stuff right there. Yeah. That's cinnamon liquor. But some of his military buddies just this come is up Hugh Carroll Best Jr. and of course I'm Hugh Carroll Best the third. Let's go look on the other side. The view up the valley. This is the newer part of the cemetery over here. And that's the older part over there. One of these days we'll come up here and take you over there. It's interesting. There's there's some really, really old markers. And then you can see looking down on the little church down there. And that's our valley. Looking back up the valley. But everything we see from this hill, as the story goes, was given to Joseph McCracken for his service in the military in a land grant. And everything that you can see on this upper end belonged to Joseph McCracken at one time. And a big part of it still belongs to his descendants. The sun's supposed to come out today, y'all. We're waiting. I see a little swath of blue sky. And looking down on this other side. Andy McCracken's 90 years old, Andy. 92. Yes, he He's is. still alive. Yeah. This is the road that leads to town for us, unless we go across the mountain to Canton. But a whole lot of these graves on top of this hill are my, are my ancestors. Jesus, ants. We call them ancestor worshipers. Watch out, that fence must be hot. No, it's not electric. Is it not? Okay. They may have guardian dogs. They may have guardian dogs because they have goats and sheep in here. Yeah. That's what we'll have to do is put the woven wire up over top of the bob wire. Yeah. And uh, daffodils are blooming. 
And they got bitten pretty heavily last week when we had that really bad cold snap. But y'all can see, this is just the most beautiful place for a cemetery in the world. And you and I neither one believe that when when your body dies that your spirit dies. We believe that's that you continue on. Everyone continues on in a wonderful and beautiful next part of the journey. We absolutely do not believe that there's a, a bad place. Every place is good. See all these bests. There's bests everywhere. <laughs> they are that. We'll have a marker up here one of these days. Eh, just a foot marker. We're so <laughs> we're so cheap. We'll just share Papa and and Mama Best's marker and just have a foot marker because he and I both we're going to be cremated. And um, I told the kids, I said, "Your dad has put up with me all these years, and I've put up with him." So if one of, when one of us dies before the other, you just save the ashes. And when we're both dead, you just combine the ashes and put us in the ground together. Because he's not getting away from me that easy. Of course, that's a little morbid, but no, it's not. Death is part of life. This Overman grave here is Tom and, and uh, Hester. And when I was a little boy, he died when I was four. And, but he lived in an old log house up here on Liner Creek on what they call Jordan Road. And I used to love to sit on his lap and listen to his stories. I can remember his stories that he told some of them about life in this valley at the turn of the 20th century. And, uh, I wish I would have had a tape recorder at the time when I was growing up and tape recorded all of these older people here that I used to really enjoy listening to the stories. My grandpa's brothers and and uh, my grandpa's first cousins and uh, but there is a lot of best here. I told him we'll come up here one day and walk through the cemetery here. Okay. That would be a good thing to do, I think. It that would, would be, be interesting. All right, guys, let's go to Lowe's. I think we've shown you what we can see of the valley now. We'll come come back out. We'll come back when the sun's a shining one day and you yeah. can see all the distant mountains. You need to see the mountains. Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> valley.